let me tell you about my best friend. He's a warm-hearted person who loves me till the end. All right, he is already a big hit at the Gulf Coast Humane Society, but now Buster, who is making himself at home, needs to find the same love and affection with a forever home. So I David Stroud from the Gulf Coast Humane Society is back with us this morning. And so, yeah, introduce us to Buster, who is just absolutely lovable. Well, that's the word that all the volunteers and staff say about Buster. He's so lovable. He's, he's cuddly. He's great. He's one of the first dogs that gets walked. <laughs> he's saying, adopt me, adopt me. Buster. Buster is an eight-year-old male Australian Kelpie mix. Everybody, of course, talks about his ears, but talks about just what a wonderful demeanor he has. Uh, Buster doesn't do well with a whole lot of frenzy and activity, though, so he would do best in a home that maybe didn't have little kids or, <laughs> or a lot of other <laughs> frenzy. Around. What are you trying to say, Buster, huh? But he's a great dog. I mean, we just we posted him on Facebook the other day, and all of a sudden we had a whole slew of our volunteers and staff that were posting, uh, wishing him well today. And um, uh, he really I, is a unique dog. I haven't, I don't think I've ever seen a dog quite like him. He's unique. Uh, one person in the lobby even said that uh, he looks almost like a dingo, almost. Yeah. Uh, he's very house trained, by the way. He did so good in the lobby today. He uh, he did contribute some nutrients to the soil around the studio today, but he did it outside when he where he was supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> so already trained. Yeah, he's now, a does he come with the training as well? Sure does. He comes with four free obedience lessons, comes with prepaid health insurance, comes with a free visit to our veterinary clinic. Uh, he's up to date on all his vaccinations. He's on flea and heartworm preventative. He's been uh, neutered. He's been microchipped. He's got everything except his forever home. All right. I think he just wants to be, he doesn't want you to stop petting him. He <laughs> likes all the love. All right. So tell me, we have home for the holidays coming up. Can you believe we're already talking about uh, that time of year? But it's here. It's here, and, and it's so exciting. We've been working on this for a while, and and we couldn't wait to like make the big announcement. We're actually making the announcement today. Oh, on right. Fox for Morning right Blend. here on the Morning Blend. That's, we love it. That's right. The tickets are now on sale today for a home for the holidays. It's our inaugural holiday party that's going to be at the Audi Jaguar Land Rover dealership in Fort Myers, the John Marazzi dealership. It's All gonna right. Be nice. Let me tell you, we're going to have live entertainment, cocktails, heavy hors d'oeuvres, <laughs> not, not light hors d'oeuvres, heavy hors d'oeuvres. We're going to have a live auction. We're going to have a silent auction. And we're going to have a chance to give away a new car. Wow. A new Audi. All at the uh, holiday party. Yeah, that is fancy. So yeah. tell me, do you need to go online to buy tickets? How can people uh, get involved? That's one way. They can go to GulfCoastHumaneSociety.org mm -hmm. today and order tickets, or they can call us uh, at the shelter at uh, 332-0364 and order tickets over the phone. Aww. Hey, let's talk about the opening of uh, Canine Co., which I was so excited to be a part of. Uh, a great turnout, I thought. We were excited to have you there, Carly. It was so cool. I mean, you led the ribbon cutting with you and all of our kennel there club members. Is. I mean, that was so cool. <laughs> the turnout was so huge. At one point, we had to limit the number of people that could be in Canine Cove at one time so that everybody could enjoy the experience. It was a huge outpouring of, of community support. And we had our first official adoption we just saw there, Giovanni, uh, who was, uh, um, uh, we just saw again last Sunday at Dogtoberfest at the Shell Factory, who's now going by Gio. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, he's more hip now. What's cool about the Canine Cove is that there's all these different kennels in there that are named by the sponsors, which you have your own as well for what is it, Husky Haven. Husky Haven yeah. So maybe when you get Huskies in there, not maybe, I mean you tend to get them a lot. Yes. They'll go into your Husky Haven. Yeah. Which, was that the first dog to be adopted that day? Uh, yeah, G Giovanni was yeah. in Husky Haven. It was really cool because we've got a lot of kennel club members that have just opened up their yep. their hearts and their wallets and pocketbooks uh, oh. to support Canine Cove. <laughs> Uh, and and I, that's you know I want to give a special plug to some amazing students at the uh, Florida Gulf Coast University. Yeah, they helped do a lot of the remodeling. Yes, they, they did. They did the paint party. Uh, we've also got a group that's called the American Humane Association Service Team of the FGCU Honors Program. I hope good I get job. That right. Buster's Thank you. even telling you good job. <laughs> what they're doing? Bill's over here howling and meowing. <laughs> by the way, I think he's helping Buster. <laughs> well, our, our our service team with FGCU has just been a huge help. They're adopting a, a um, cabana in, in uh, Canine Cove as well. They're going to be one of our new kennel club members.
members. Sounds good. Fantastic. All right. So once again, let's, well, and actually, Lynn, you have another event coming, a car wash. Well, this is the AHA service team okay. with the FGCU Honor Students. The car wash is this Saturday at the 7-Eleven um, and um, in Estero. Uh, begins at 11 o'clock. 100% of the proceeds go to uh, Canine Cove and the Kennel Club membership with these wonderful, wonderful students from FGCU. And part of the reason why, well, part of all the reason why you have all these events going on is you don't get any federal money. You don't get any, I mean, this is all private that, donations. That is correct. No tax money of any kind. No money from the Humane Society of the United States, ASPCA, or any other national welfare organization. We survive on individual donations, our special events revenue, some bequests, and grants. How many animals do you have uh, coming into the, the shelter? Well, we uh, we take in over 1,200 a year, and uh, being a shelter, they're all going to be with us and have safe refuge until they all find their forever homes. And hopefully that will be the uh, ending story for Buster as well. One more time, go ahead and uh, invite people out to the Home for Holidays event, because that's a real special event. Again, a chance to win an Audi. A chance to win an Audi, and plus the live entertainment. Don't forget the heavy hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> heavy hors d'oeuvres. That is Saturday, December 4th. <laughs> Tickets go on sale, effect today uh, you can call the shelter or you can uh, buy tickets online it's at the Audi Jaguar Land Rover uh, Fort Myers dealership a John Marazzi dealership I think Facebook also a good uh, place to get information y'all are uh, very active on Facebook as well yes. that's where we uh, first saw Buster's picture you can get more information about him as well so all right Buster good luck we hope to, to have you in a home soon